In this video we'll look at two very special circuits, the voltage divider and the current divider. This material is not absolutely essential. You can get all the information I'm doing here by doing other circuit techniques. However, the voltage divider and current divider show up so often that it will greatly help you in your ability to solve circuits if you know these tricks. On top of that, these are useful circuits to build to be able to solve things. For instance, if you have too much voltage for a device, say a train, this is a circuit you can build to actually reduce the voltage. If you have too much current for a particular device, this is a circuit that you can build in order to reduce the current to the value that you need for your device. So they're very practical and they help speed up students in solving problems. So for that reason, I'm going to cover these two circuits. Now, let's look at the voltage divider. The voltage divider is simply two resistors placed in series with a battery or other voltage source. The voltage source is called VN, and of course it has a plus side, which I'm going to label up here at the A node, and a negative side, which is connected to the B node. The voltage will then drive a current through the two resistors and I want to know what is the voltage across resistor R1. This resistor often has another name in circuits. It's often called the load resistor because this is what you attach to a circuit in order to get something done, like it could be your beater or it could be the stove. It's what you want the energy to come out in. Now to find the voltage across here, there's a very useful and quick formula and it goes like this. The voltage across resistor 1 is equal to the voltage that you put into the circuit times the resistor of R1 divided by the sum of the two resistors in the circuit. R1 over R1 plus R2 is a fraction. So you're going to get a fraction of the input voltage. The bigger R1, the greater the fraction. So if R1 is much greater than R2, so that this is basically can be ignored here, then you get R1 over R1, you get all of it. If R1 is half of the resistance, in other words, if it's the same as R2, then 50% of the voltage will be dropped across R1, and the other 50% will be dropped across resistor R2. Couple of things to note. If you call this plus minus, then the current needs to come out of the plus of the power supply and into the plus of the resistor. So I am assuming that you've chosen your plus minus in the direction shown. If you choose them oppositely, then you'll have a minus sign here. The current divider circuit. The current divider circuit puts two resistors in parallel. One of them is usually called the load resistor and the other one is usually called the shunt. But for our purposes, I've called them R1 and R2. And my goal is to find the current in this resistor I1. So a certain amount of current comes in to node A, goes up and then branches. Some of it goes into resistor 1, some of it goes into resistor 2, and you'd like to know the amount that goes into resistor 1. The amount that goes through resistor 1 is equal to the total current that comes in times the other resistor, R2, divided by the sum of the resistors. So again, very easy to use. If you tell me this, say, is 4 ohms and this is 8 ohms, then the current coming in will be then broke up into 8 over 12, or 2 thirds. We'll go through this, one third will go through the 8 ohm resistor. This happens so often in circuits, knowing these quick formulas can really speed up your ability to solve circuits, especially on things like the AP exam.